Yo, it's Loen. I'm back again with a beat that I made a, a few days ago. I want to say yesterday. I don't really remember. I don't really want to look up the date or anything on it because uh, I'm lazy. Um, but this is the beat. All I did, you gotta select the samples track. I went on FL Studio. I took this old typing keyboard from like an old PC. It's so old that I had to use a USB converter thing. And um, these are the samples. Yeah, that's all of them. Um, yeah, those are the samples. And these are the drums. Obviously. I don't remember how I played it, but. And, um. Then I have a sample for the beat drop, and I have the original sample, and I'll just play the whole beat now because the beat drop and the original sample, of course, is the intro. Um. So here you go. And uh, that last part, those last uh, four bars, I um, I decided to, uh, well, I ch that's going to be the hook. That's basically what I should say. Um, I got a verse to it. Um, I don't know if the mixing will be right with the, um, with the mic so you can hear it. Like hear both of them at the same time so I think I'll just release the track sometime when I'm finished writing it I only got like a verse done right now I don't, I don't even got a hook or another verse you know what I'm saying so um anyways that was that was the beat just some stuff I found on records and I think um yeah stuff I just found on records like the drums I'm pretty sure I got from a breakbeats record I have that beat thing, the suck my motherfucking dick thing, was um from a from a break beats record, and uh, the samples just from a, a blood sweat and tears record, and it sounds really like I get I I want to say like British I guess like old time British in a way, I don't even know what instruments playing it's some string instrument but it sounds good to me. And basically what I did to get it to type is I went to, um, you see this little keyboard thing? It's next to 321, where all the line stuff is, and under the, um, audio meter next to the pattern number and shit like that. Um, you go to C5, and then you choose piano on layout. And then what I did is laid it all out on FPC which I love um yeah this this first one is C5 you gotta change the MIDI note when you go to it you, you set it to empty drag the drums you want onto the pads on FPC 
There's plenty of um, tutorials out there on YouTube for this. But uh, the one thing I didn't see in some of the tutorials I watched was um, you know, on your MIDI settings on options, you got to make sure everything's set to nothing on your MIDI. If you have a MIDI controller and you just feel like bringing out a keyboard, like a typing keyboard like this one, one day and you don't want to like mess up your MIDI controller, which is why I use this one. And I guess I'm just kind of used to typing, so it's like I got the hang of it better. Yeah, and um, that's that. And in the background, I don't know if you heard it, but I had some scratching to it right here. Yeah, that's all that. And I recorded that straight into FL Studio. Um, this stereo, this is a stereo receiver right here. If you see my previous videos, like I got my mixer, my turntable, and my stereo. And I take my stereo headphones. Oh shit, I don't know, I just opened. Um, I said I clicked something on the keyboard. All right, um, uh, I take my stereo, the phone output, it's a quarter inch one. And I plug that into, um, the quarter inch into the instrument cable through an instrument cable into my audio interface which is a um, personas audio box which I love that thing it's it's running this mic I'm talking into right now and and um, it's pretty much a rundown of how I make beats um, just another way I do it this is a new way really using the um, typing keyboard and if you're wondering why I'm not using the keys on my laptop is just because I don't want to mess those up and this is an old keyboard and it's okay if I mess it up. And these keys are like taller and more out I guess I could say. Like they feel better. They just feel better than the flat keyboards. And they feel more sensitive than, than these keyboards. Than the laptop one. But I still love my Akai MPK Mini. I'll, I'll use that just on days I I don't really want to pull it out or anything I'll pull this out I guess it's just times I'm feeling lazy or something I don't know because I already have this out you know so um that was the beat kind of a rundown of how I made it and if you want to hear everything individually I guess I'll do that so this is the drum beat oh that's the main one minute yeah I'll I'll mute the samples. Here we go. And then these are just the samples. And a, a wonderful thing I learned from one of the tutorials I watched here on YouTube. I forgot which one it was. Um but I'll just tell you what I learned. Uh, right here, you got where well, you change the MIDI note next to it, it says cut and then cut by and you can set a number. The number to make it so those sounds don't bleed into each other so you can go like this. And notice how it's not playing over and over again if I didn't have cut 12 and cut by 12, which is the number you want to set it to so that it doesn't all the sounds can like smoothly like be like that instead of playing over and over again and bleeding into each other so you want cut 12 and then cut by 12 and you don't got to worry about the output and um that's basically it i know i didn't share my screen or anything um, if you want, just request for me to do a, request in the comments, I guess, for me to do a tutorial on how to use this typing keyboard on the, um, FPC and on FL Studio and all that. Uh, other than that, peace.